moves by one. So let's assume the hour and year is at seven. So it moves by one big point, which is one hour. When the minute hand has gone 60 minutes. When it has gone from 12 back to 12. Okay? It therefore means that 60 minutes is equal to one hour. Are we together? Any question? It therefore means that 60 minutes is equal to one hour. Are we together? Any question? When you have any question, please just write it down and show it to me. So this is this for this, yeah? So we have, from this clock, got it two things out, or two expressions. The first one is 60 seconds is equal to one minute. And 60 minutes is equal to one hour. Now this is the two things we've been able to pick out from our work clock. And I like you to store this in your mind, okay? 60 seconds make one minute, and 60 minutes makes one hour. Are you happy? Hmm? Now let's go. The next part of the clock we'll be doing is we'll be telling time, we'll be telling time in hours, minutes, and in seconds. And we tell time using two systems. We have the analog system and we have the digital system. Don't worry, I'll show you how it works, okay? Just sit back and relax. Now, the next thing I say we'll be treating is telling time Telling time in hours, minutes, and seconds. Let me draw some clock on the board. Example. Let me draw some clock on the board, okay? One, tell the following time tell the following time in hour and minute now before we continue please note that the short form of seconds short form of seconds is written as S Is written as S. Short form for minutes is written as M I N minutes. And the short form for R is written as what? H. So if you might be seeing it as we continue, so please, you shouldn't get to new or strange to you, okay? Now, tell the following time in minutes. Let me draw out some work clock for us here. Six, three, nine, one, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now this is our first work clock, okay? Supposing there's twelve six. 
six, three, nine, one, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Okay, and this one is what? Now, now we have two clocks on the board, okay? We have two clocks on the board, and the question is: Tell the following time in hours and minutes. If you look closely, there is no second hand on the board. Okay, don't be scared. We are safe. It's not all clocks that has a second hand. Though the seconds always count. Okay, it counts, but you might not see a second hand on the clock altogether. Now, this clock has just the hour hand and the minute hand. The hour hand and the minute hand. Okay, we are still together. There is no. Error, there is no set back. So let's continue. So now, given this, okay, given this, we have to tell this time in what hour and minute. And I told us that we have two systems of telling time. We have the analog and the digital. We have the analog. Analog and digital. So let's see the two now. For the analog. For the analog system. Now this is the hour hand and this is the minute hand, okay? Now the hour hand is what's pointing at what? 10. The minute hand is in between 4 and 5. So let's count. This is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hmm? It's on the fourth line. So let's count from here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So it has what? Gotten towards 24 minutes. The minute hand is pointing towards 24. Okay? So let me just save you the stress. In between here and here, we have 5. We have 5. We have 5. We have 5. 5, 5, 5, 4. All true. Okay? So now to simply go. Since it is in between 4 and 5, we have what? 5 here, 10, 15, 20. So let's count. 21, 22, 23, 24. Are we clear? So it has 24. Is what? 24 minutes. The hour hand is what? At 10. Are we together? Eh? The hour hand is what? At 10. So if we want to tell this time in, if we want to tell this time in, Hours and minutes is going to be what? 22 for the analog system is going to be 22 minutes past 10. Okay? For the analog system, it's going to be what? 22 minutes past 10. Are we clear? Sorry, 24 minutes. Going to be what? 24 minutes past 10. Okay? Now, for the digital, most of you must have seen this, but you don't know it's called digital. It's going to be what? 10 24. A digital clock will look like this. It's the same thing. 24 minutes past 10. A digital clock will tell you it's what? 10 24. Are we okay? Quite simple, yeah? Let's write the second one so you understand better. The short hand is at 6, which is the hour hand, okay? The hour hand is at 6, okay? Now, the long hand, which is the minute hand, is at where? 2. So that's how many minutes? From here to here is 5 minutes. From here to here, 5 minutes. That's how many minutes? 10 minutes. Okay? 
Now the hour hand is where? At where? 6. Okay? So it's going to be what? 10 minutes. 10 minutes past 6. Okay? Then for digital time, it's going to be what? 6, 10. Which is what? The same thing as 10 minutes past 6. The hour hand is at 6. The minute hand is at 10. So it's going to be what? 10 minutes past 6. Are we together? Any question? Please, if you have any, just table it down. I will be very happy to answer it after the lesson. Okay? Now let's try some other example out so you see how amazing it works. Let's still maintain the same flow. But let's try something.